on an inhale, slowly sweep your arms overhead in a circular downpour as you exhale and feel the relaxation, the ease. And slowly inhale, draw your arms up like a wave. And as you exhale, release your hands, pouring down and cleansing the body. So continue on your own as you inhale and sweep your arms up, hearing the ocean sound of ujjayi breathing. As you exhale, again hear ujjayi or exhaling through the mouth. Begin to come into the present moment as you continue on your own, entering into the movement meditation, syncopating with the breath wave going inward in the lunar vinyasa connected to embodying the healing waters bringing ease relaxation and peace into your heart so when you're ready on the next round we'll offer om three times so exhaling completely, inhale, sweeping your arms up, and exhale with the universal sound of OM. Let us begin the Jala Namaskar, one of the Pranavinyasa Namaskars dedicated to embodying the sacred flow. So on an inhale, sweep your arms up, and as you exhale, bend your knees and cascade your heart to the earth with the hands on the thighs, and continue that spinal wave for two more rounds. pouring your spine to the earth coming onto all fours and entering the space called Sahaja where as you round your spine letting your neck go you can also free your spine shifting from side to side coming into circles and letting your neck relax with gravity begin to feel the healing and intelligence carried through our bloodstream, carried through our cerebral spinal fluid, carried through the ocean that still lives inside our primarily fluid body. And gazing within, so we release any inhibition which can create kind of rigidity or holding pattern upon the body. So shift now into Adamukashvanasan or downward dog with the same quality of the fluid natural flow or sahaja. And then when you're ready, anchor your left heel and extend your right leg to the sky and exhale, bring it forward between your hands with your left knee down. And on an inhale, sweep your arms up like a wave. And as you exhale, straighten your right leg and bow to the earth. Inhale, coming forward, drawing up from the back thigh, lower belly into your heart, either straight up or in a back bend. And exhale, straighten your front leg and cascade your spine down. Inhale, come forward and feel the intelligence of the wave in the back bend, feeling the support behind the heart. 
exhale, bowing forward to the earth. And now coming forward, shift your right knee to your left knee. Anahata asana, heart to the earth, coiling back through the belly. And then as you're ready, you're going to slide forward. Shoulders over the elbows, unwinding the neck or rise in Sahaja Bhujangasana, which is a freedom, a figure eight pattern in the beginning, an unwinding of the neck, finding the spontaneous intelligence as it rises and flows within. And when you're ready, come down and rest in Pranam Asana, letting your hips sway from side to side. And then on an inhale, draw your hands under your shoulders and either rise in cobra or upward dog. Exhale, flow back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, pull through the center. And back knee down. Inhale, rise either straight up or flowing into your back bend wave. Exhale, pull through the pelvis. Release your neck. Inhale, coming forward. And sweep your arms up in the back bend wave. And exhale, coming forward, Ardha Hanumanasan. And shifting forward, rise again. And exhale, pull into Ardha Hanumanasana. As you're ready, shift forward and exhale, shifting back, left knee to the right knee, hands stretch out in front of you, take your heart to the earth, and then slowly sliding through and unwind your upper body as well as your lower body in that serpentine flow Unwinding pockets of tension, physically, mentally, emotionally held. Freeing the intrinsic spirit, the creative flow. And now slowly come down and relax into the prostration, hips swaying. Ready, hands under your shoulders, rise in upward dog or cobra, and exhale, flowing back onto your knees, and passing through the Sahaja state, either on all fours or in Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. And now feet together, inhale, root your left heel down and extend your right leg through the sky. Exhale, pull through your sacred center, back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up, creating the wave through your heart. Exhale, straighten your front leg and cascade your spine down. Two more times on your own, inhale, rising. Exhale, flowing. Inhale, breath rising. Exhale, release. Now inhale, coming forward. Take the right knee to the left knee. Exhale, suspend your heart between your pelvis extending back. Fingertips extending forward. Exhale, slide through for Sahaja Bhujangasana. So feel the spontaneous flow, melting the face, melting inhibitions. And then inhale, freely rise. And exhale, melt down into the pranam, full relaxation. On an 
inhale, hands under the shoulders, rise in cobra or upward dog. And exhale, flowing back, downward dog. Inhale, free your left leg through the sky. Exhale, pull through the center and bring your foot to the earth, back knee down. Inhale, rising. Exhale, pulling back, straightening the front leg and bowing. Twice more on your own, feel your breath wave. slowly hands to the earth and coming forward into lunge and slowly taking the back leg left knee to the right knee hands stretch out anahata asana and sliding through come into sahaja bhujangasana Feel the inner liberation, the inner connectedness, the sacred flow. And exhale, return to the earth. And inhale, rise, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, return to the earth. And feel your prayer your offering and then begin the cycle two more rounds inhale rising exhale on all fours going into a state of sahaja that you bring into Adho Mukha Svanasana. so the knees can bend the spine can wave and then on an inhale extend the right leg to the sky and exhale bring it through Back knee down, inhale, rise. And exhale, sweeping your hands back, pouring your spine to the earth. Inhale, coming forward. Two more rounds on your own. And then sliding through into the sacred flow, come into Sahaja Bhujangasana, eyes in half gaze or closed, finding the circular infinite spiral pattern, one shoulder flowing and then the other and then climbing up your spine. Exhale, melting down into pranamasana, prostration and relaxation, and slowly rising with the inhale, upward dog or cobra, exhale, come onto your knees and flow back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. inhale, left leg rises, exhale, slowly bring it through, back knee down, Inhale, rise, both arms in a cascade. Feel the support through your spine. As you exhale, lengthen forward through your heart, bowing through the neck. And twice more, inhale, coming forward. Feel your own rhythm and meditative flow. Exhale. Draw 
your left knee to your right knee and exhale Anahata Asana. And slowly coming forward, the natural flow, Sahaja Bhujangasana. This can be through your whole body. This can be for your whole body all the way to your toes. spine at the peak and exhale relax the pranamasana swaying the hips letting go and then inhale rising upper dog or cobra exhale flowing back onto your knees circulate either on your knees or in Adha Mukha Svanasana. And now feet together. Inhale, root your left heel down and extend your right leg through the sky. Exhale, pull through your sacred center. Back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up, creating the wave through your heart. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Cascade your spine down. Two more times on your own. Inhale, rising. Exhale, flowing. Inhale, breath rising. Take the right knee to the left knee. Exhale, suspend your heart between your pelvis extending back. Fingertips extending forward. And exhale, slide through for Sahaja Bhujangasana. So feel the spontaneous flow, melting the face, melting inhibitions. Pranam, full relaxation. And then on an inhale, hands under the shoulders, rise in cobra or upward dog. And exhale, flowing back, downward dog. Inhale, free your left leg through the sky. Exhale, pull through the center and bring your foot to the earth, back knee down. Rising. Exhale, pulling back, straightening the front leg and bowing. Twice more on your own. Feel your breath wave. Cobra and exhale, return to the earth and feel your prayer, your offering, and then begin the cycle. Two more rounds inhale, rising, 
exhale on all fours, going into a state of Sahaja. And now slowly flow back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. And complete the Jala Namaskar by slowly stepping one foot and then the other. And keeping this relaxed connectedness into Uttanasana. Exhale. And inhale, slowly come up, arcing through the spine. Exhale, cascading forward. Two more rounds. Bringing flow, longevity, and flexibility into your being. So exhale, pouring yourself down. And now slowly step back, coming onto your knees, onto all fours. And one more round, freeing the spine, keeping that quality of Sahaja now we then take into the rest of our flow. So coming into a comfortable seated position, slowly as you exhale, bowing down in that wave motion as you inhale and come up through your heart. Come into this pulsation a couple more rounds, either just from seated as a simple neck flow or as the deep dive Exhaling, going all the way down. And inhale, merging. And exhale, releasing down. So follow this pattern as we continue in the lunar vinyasa. Exhale, flowing down. Inhale, rising. And then extend over your right leg and follow this wave pattern. Inhale, rise, turn over your left leg, following the wave pattern. And then come down through the center, two rounds. Feel your breath syncopating with your flow. As you come up, begin to circle. As you come into this fluid kriya, the spontaneous flow, you can follow the mandala around your heart. And feel the constant creativity, always fresh, always new this revivifying effect, the longevity as our body, joints, muscles, even the lubrication of our internal organs is bathed in this circulatory flow. So as you're ready, coming back to stillness and moving with the upper and lower body opening. Draw your left knee under, your right knee on top. Get comfortable. And we're coming into Gomukhasana. So take your feet as wide as it feels comfortable for you and start to feel that wave again of your spine. And then gradually let that wave come slower and slower into the body finding the position of your hands that's good for you and feel this incredible freedom through the back of your body letting your neck go feeling the head like this ripe coconut hanging this drawing of the spine into gravity and feel your breath washing over the back of your spine washing any tension in the neck 
You can let your head sway from side to side. Breath elongating, feeling the best of fluid lunar movement, bringing inner renewal, inner space, inner freshness. And now slowly rise for the shoulder opening and exhale, draw your left arm across as you take your right elbow, draw it across your body towards your wrist. And then the same thing on the left side, drawing the left hand across over your right wrist and changing from side to side, feeling the fluid release through your outer shoulders. And then slowly take your left elbow over the back crown Complete Gomukhasana and come into pulsation here. Exhale, bowing down, inhale, drawing up through the core. Gently pressing your neck against your back upper arm. And then it's up to you if you want to release the hand behind you so they can clasp and fold forward. Bow, stay there for several breaths. And slowly come up, taking your elbow with your left hand, drawing it behind your crown. And then coming into the pulsation here, bowing down and rising up. Option to release around to interlace the fingertips to continue the long spine or to come forward without letting the shoulder opening create any pressure on your neck. Just releasing with gravity and then slowly rise on the inhale and exhale, release your arms. slowly coming back to center. Now undo your legs, changing sides. Let your left knee come over your right knee for Gomukhasana. Inhale, opening your heart. Exhale, bowing forward. Continuing two more rounds on your own. Exhale, coming forward and finding the arm position where you can relax with gravity. Going into that place of peace, letting the breath wash over the back of the spine. Enjoying your breath wave, sensing the tidal movement inside. And freeing your emotional body as you exhale and let the back of the heart completely release with gravity. We're gonna combine that with shoulder opening slowly rise and exhale go ahead and draw your left hand so it's high in the right elbow under and come into Garudasana arms the equal arms exhale back through the center inhale rising spinning your hands towards the left Exhale, bowing back to center. Inhale, extending back. And exhale, releasing, freeing your arms into prana mudra. And exhale, changing arms, 
Inhale, extending up. Exhale, bowing inward. Inhale, rising. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, opening. And exhale, prana mudra. And inhale, coming back to center. Bow in Gomukasana. And now walk your hands over your right side. And as you extend the crown of your head to the right, stretching through your side body, sweep around to the opposite side. Exhale, release. Continue two more rounds. Coming up, release, and changing sides. So bowing forward, going within. And now walk both hands to the left. And then flowing both hands to the right. And continue the side to side flow. Feeling the unwinding in the body peace in the mental, emotional body, the memory through our spiritual body. So as you come back to center, completely relax now, letting go. And then slowly rise, inhale and take the right arm over and exhale, shift. Inhale, take the left arm over and exhale, pull through the center. Continue this flow. Inhale, reaching across the sky. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, continuing over your front leg. Exhale, back to the one side. Exhale, back to the other side. And now changing your legs. Slowly bowing forward. Now inhale, rising up and extend your left arm across the sky and then exhale forward, sweep around. Inhale, open through the right side waist. Exhale, sweep around as the tide's flowing through you. Inhale, one side to the other. Feeling the connectivity through the center and the complete freedom from side to side. And now as you come back through Gomukasan, slowly from one side to the other, finally settling down. Balance the body. Slow your breath down. Feel the inner fluidity. And then slowly coming up. And exhale, swing your left leg back into Ekapadaraj Kapotasana. So listen to your knee as you exhale forward. You want your left hip to come forward. If your right hip is lifted, please support yourself under your hip is a place of relaxation and listening. So if you need to come onto your back, feel free. Come into the alternative hip opener. But as you relax here, feel your breath as a sacred tide. And meditate on the renewal through the water element. 
going to come into variations here. So exhale. So exhale deeply and we'll come back into long relaxation after we slowly rise up and open through the side waist, shifting from side to side, walking your hands over, keeping the crescent shape through your torso. Change with your flow. And then when you're ready, rising up for the quadricep opening, if you can, reach back and take your foot by your hip. And then slowly spin your fingertips, if you can, so that you're reaching from the back thigh up through the core into your heart, feeling the preparation for the back bend. As you draw your foot into your hip, exhale, slowly release, and now slowly coming around, we're going to change legs, and draw your left knee under and your right knee over, and bowing forward in Gomukhasana. Stay here for several breaths, elongating and nourishing your spine. slowly rise and let's go into the sideways opening inhale extending across the sky and exhale flowing to the other side inhale opening exhale flowing inhale opening exhale flowing again in Gomukhasana, dwelling here, releasing and relaxing deeply. slowly rise and extend your right leg back for Ekapadaraj Kapotasana. Take your time settling in if this is a good asana for your body. It is such a place of deep release. So getting comfortable. We're going to be here for our traditional length of time, 300 moments.
So we're going to come into variations, gently extending from side to side. As you walk across, feeling the sideways opening, finding that just right spot. center, bowing, and then from here slowly rising and catching your back foot, breathing into the front gate, draw your right hip forward, make that beautiful arc through your spine, feel the tide of your breath. Now slowly extend your right leg back into Anahantaasana, drawing your heart to the earth, breathing into your hips. And now slowly coming forward to complete your practice onto your belly and now reach back towards your ankles, clasping your ankles, slowly rise in Dhanurasana, coming down relax your neck, inhale slowly rise. And now enjoy this pulsation in a way that is relaxing and meditative, like a buoy in the ocean. And then last round, slowly rise and release. And now slowly coming down, absorb the peace. And when you're ready, come back to Ustrasana, rising behind the heart and sitting back now in a comfortable position, taking in the sacred flow. And now slowly extend your legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana. You can bend your knees slightly and slowly bowing forward. This is not good for you. You can always come onto your back, knees into your chest. Going inside now and resting in that lunar state of peace, tranquility, and sukha, inherent joy, inherent happiness. Shodana Pranayam. So on an 
Inhale, rising and coming into a comfortable seated position, half lotus or full lotus. And drawing your hands around your nostrils, breathing in your own pace, closing the right nostril and breathing through the left, drinking your inhale. When you find the natural peak, closing your left nostril and exhaling through the right. through the right, finding the sacred pause, closing the right nostril and exhaling through the left. So please continue this rhythm on your own, a couple more rounds. Feeling that internal balance, slowly bring your hands to your heart, honoring the breath of the heart, and then continuing on into shoulder stand, unless this is not good for you, you can just go directly to Shavasana. Again, I'm in minimal outer guidance so that you can really let your nervous system go to that deep recharging, go to that deep recharging calm. So bringing the inner edges of your feet together, rock back into Halasana, rolling your shoulders under, come up into either half shoulder stand or full shoulder stand. Feeling the base, the shoulders rolling under, giving the updraft from the back of the spine through the inner legs. You can cross your ankles at the top and go inside now, the smooth, long breath. Now, letting go of your inner ankles, clasping, let's go into the variations. Go ahead and lower your right foot down to the earth while you reach up through the inner left leg. You can stay here, or if you have the wrist strength, you can pour your left leg to the right, radiating through the balls of your feet. Inhale, come back up to center, changing legs. Either stay with the left foot on the earth, or turn and place your sacrum in your left hand and radiating both feet away from each other. And inhale, take your legs straight up. And now opening your legs wide into a V. Pressing out through the balls of your feet. Opening your hips with gravity. And then exhale, bring the balls of the feet together or full lotus. And then balance your hands on your thighs. Now reach from the nape of your neck up through the pit of your belly. 
go within in this body mudra, Jaladhar Bandha through shoulder stand. You can either keep the full lotus or you can release the lotus and stretch your legs behind you, pointing your toes and rising up through the nape of your neck and going within. And then embryo in the womb. Bend your knees around your ears, wrapping your arms around your calves. And now slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, either holding your lower back or your outer ankles. you slowly come down, straightening your legs or full lotus for Matsyasan, fish pose. Now breathe into the lotus of your heart, such an ecstatic body mudra, such a beautiful completion and then melting down being bathed in this beautiful light if there's anything you need before you go into Shavasana gentle twist feel free to give that to yourself and when you're ready extend now into Shavasana taking your feet the width of the mat your hands about a foot away from your hips and deeply relax now if you need any supports of a pillow, a bolster or a blanket under your knee or under your head, whatever you need to feel totally relaxed, totally supported, you can rest here for 500 moments and allow the healing benefits of your earth alchemy practice to seep in bringing perspective, opening. As you exhale, go down into the peace of the earth for Shavasana. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.